Hey Health Nuts, welcome back to my channel for another episode of Wellness Wednesday. I thought for the month of Self Love February, we would talk skincare. I feel like one of the number one questions I get asked in all my videos is what do you use on your skin? How is your skin so glowy? And although I really appreciate all the lovely comments, I do think the lights that I use make my skin look much more glowy than it is in real life. Um, that being said, I definitely feel like um, the routine now I have with my skin has really helped um, with the texture, overall brightness of my skin, and the amount of breakouts I now have are a lot less than before. And for for this video, I'm actually collaborating with my favorite skincare line, Luminance Skincare. They are amazing, and if you guys are looking for an awesome natural skincare line, kind of like risk-free, they actually have a free sample kit that you can just get on their website. Basically, you just head over to their website, which I'll link down below, and after about 10 seconds, a pop-up will show up to sign up for their newsletter, and you just gotta like enter in your name and email, and then you will get a coupon code that you can use to check out with on their site for the sample kit, and you'll You'll get it for free you just have to cover like shipping costs which is pretty cool and yeah it's just a really easy way to try a skincare line without actually investing a lot of money into it and I think the kit comes with the cleanser moisturizer and their toner which I'll talk about in a second and then stick to the end guys because I have an epic awesome giveaway for three lucky winners so I'll talk about that later and just to give you some like background on my skin I never really had like horrible acne growing up I always had like congested skin um, but I never had like cystic acne in high school or anything um, I used to use like uh, what's that one proactive uh, here and there and it probably dried the crap out of my skin um, but that's what I would use on occasion I was kind of like using like Neutrogena stuff and and all the drugstore stuff and then proactive was just so expensive and I don't think it was really doing my skin any good if I stopped using it like the pimples would come back um, and then over the last couple of years I've had two major hormonal cystic acne breakouts that literally changed my skin the texture of it and everything the first one was from um, I, I can't say for sure if it was the product but that it happened shortly after it um, and it was using the Dermalogica cleanse off oil and I remembered people People saying like oh if you have oily skin like oil is good for it so I used this oil cleanser from Dermalogica and it literally made my skin freak out I had horrible like acne cystic acne like all down my cheeks and this is right before I was going to Australia to move there so like it could have been a combination of like stress and anxiety of the move um, in combination with this like oil cleaner and then the second acne reaction I had was from a rosehip oil um, product. It was like an all organic, 100% rosehip oil. I was also thinking, oh, I'm just gonna help my skin with some organic oils. My skin freaked out, like literally freaked out. Same thing, hormonal acne. At the same time, shortly after I started using the oil, I was like, I'm gonna get off birth control and I'm so happy I did, but like my skin freaked out. It was like the oil getting off the birth control. My hormones were out of whack. So since then, I've been super, super cautious of what I put on my skin, guys. Like even when I first discovered Luminance, I was very careful because I was like, okay, they're all organic and stuff and like they have lots of oils in their stuff and I just got really scared to use anything on my skin that wasn't like, I don't know, that wasn't something I've already been using and I was comfortable with. Uh, so I really, I put some trust into the company and I'm so glad I did guys because th like three years later, I'm still using their products. They, my skincare routine consists of like 90% of luminant skincare um, because I just love their stuff so much. Uh, it's like high quality. It doesn't use any synthetics. It's non-toxic. It's like I said, all organic. It's amazing. It's handmade and you can actually feel the quality of the products when you use them on your skin because just me using them for the last three years, the my skin texture, glowiness, brightness has dramatically improved. Um, so I wanted to talk about that in today's video. This is gonna be a long video, I'm sorry guys. Okay, so first thing I do when I'm starting my nighttime skincare routine is I usually wanna take off my makeup. I don't wear makeup every day, but I usually, if I'm filming or going out to something, I will usually put on a little bit of makeup. Um, so I always like to take everything off. And the first thing I like to use is jojoba oil to take off my eye makeup. And I've been using this stuff for a very long time I just get like pure organic jojoba oil this is one of the oils that my skin actually really likes and I use this in my hair 
on my cuticles. It's like an all-purpose oil for me. I take this a lot when I go for a massage. I always get them to use this oil because I know my skin is not gonna break out from it. And I basically just put this on my fingertips and then I rub it over my eyes until my makeup kind of just melts off. It's amazing and then I will usually just kind of rinse it off with warm water. And then after that, I usually go in with a cleanser and this is one I've just been using for years uh, because it's one of those ones when my skin was freaking out, I used, and although it has not done anything amazing for my skin, it also doesn't irritate my skin. And it is this one from La Roche, La Roche Posay. <laughs> uh, it's their Effect Claire Purifying Foaming Gel uh, for oily, oily, sensitive skin. I can't talk. And then I use it with this little cognac, cognac sponge thing. I don't know. It's this little facial sponge. This is from Eco Tools. I will link everything I'm using in today's video down below for you guys. This is the one product I've been wanting to switch to something more natural because it does have that SLS ingredient, the sodium lareth sulfite ingredient. Luckily, I'm putting a lot of moisture back into my skin after, but this has been something I want to switch out. Uh, it's just something that I've kind of stuck with. I'm just very cautious of what I use on my skin, like I said. So. That's what I use to cleanse off my skin. All right, and a new thing I've been including into my regimen is this oil. Um, and it's funny that like I've been staying away from oils for so long and then I'm already slowly, I've slowly introduced oils into my skincare routine because I find oils can be really beneficial as long as you're getting the right oils. Like you gotta know your skin and test things. Don't just like, pick an oil because someone else said that it, it works for them. I use the tiniest bit of this, I rub it between my fingers, lather it up a bit, and then I just work it into my face. Uh, my face is a little damp at this, at this point from the cleanser, but it's not sobbing wet. And I just work it in. At this point too, I usually give myself a facial massage. I've been doing this oil massage thing about two, one to three times a week. And I do this for about a minute, just massaging. Uh, and then, this is the best part, is I actually remove it with, I've been using these like little facial cloths. So I just keep these in my bathroom. I have a whole bunch of them. You can get them at the dollar store, super cheap. And I will just run one under hot water and get it nice and hot. I just lay it over my face and I let it steam for a sec. And then I just rub off all, like any excess dirt or makeup on my face and it's crazy because after the cleanser there's still dirt on my face and makeup and then you can just kind of like look down at the cloth and you're like oh that was all on my face and I can't tell you guys how soft my face feels after I use the combination of the oil and the little washcloth it's like a little spa night it's really nice and since doing this oil cleanse uh, with the cloth it's really helped remove and unclog a lot of blackheads on my nose. So now that my face is squeaky clean, I go in with a rose water toner and you really want to use a toner that doesn't have alcohol in it. You really want something that's just going to have help like hydrate and refresh your skin. I love just like misting this all over my face. I also use this as a makeup setting spray. It's amazing, all natural, organic, and it just smells like fresh roses are floating in it. It's delicious. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna like drink it. After the toner, I like to go in with a serum. I, I think when your skin is still moist, it'll just soak up a serum even better. I think I read that somewhere. And so I alternate between these two. One is a nourishing serum and then one is an acne serum. And these look pretty used. <laughs> you can tell the bottles are a little scary looking. I'll show up, I'll show close-ups of pretty ones. The acne serum has tea tree and matcha tea in it. And I help, I find this really helps um, combat redness in the skin. I was using this as a, um, a spot treatment, but Luminance says that you can just use it all over and it really helps brighten up your skin. So I used that last night and it's amazing. So usually I use this as a spot treatment, but it's not drying, so you can use it all over. And then the nourishing serum I use just like most of the time. This is like I use like 80% of the time and then 20% of the time I use the acne one. Uh, but the nourishing serum is just like melts into your skin. It has tamarind seed in it and it's just feels really good underneath your moisturizer. Now for eye creams, I've been using eye creams ever since I was little. I felt like I wanted to you know, be proactive about those fine lines and wrinkles and just making sure my under eye area is taken care of. And I've been in love with Luminance's Blue Chamomile Eye Cream. Um, this stuff is so soothing and mine's like almost done. Luckily I have a new bottle, but uh, I've been using this one for literally like three years. I use the tiniest little bit. I use my ring finger to pat it in and it just melts into my skin. I feel like it's brightened the area. And then I follow up for a moisturizer with their high 
hydration moisturizer in this stuff guys like you put it on at night and your skin in the morning feels like dewy and soft and it's just it feels feels like your skin's been drinking all night <laughs> like drinking in the moisturizer and this is just an awesome moisturizer it's not too greasy I can use this under my makeup in the morning and my, my makeup just sits really nicely on it. It doesn't like slip around or anything. Um, and it just sinks into your skin within a matter of minutes. I love it. And then even though I'm talking a lot about organic uh, skincare in this video, I do wanna talk about things that I also use that maybe aren't the most natural, but just to be really honest and open with you guys, um, when I do have a spot uh, and I feel like it's like a big one or it's gonna be a big one, I do have as an emergency backup this little, um, this is like a benzyl peroxide treatment, I think it's called Tactuo, Tactu Gel. I don't know, I'll link it down below. I got this from my dermatologist when my skin was freaking out and this has really helped with spot treatments, just like for big ones that you know, like, oh my God, it's gonna be something. But to be honest, guys, like I rarely have to use this anymore. I really feel like my skin has found a great balance with the products that I'm using that I don't have to like go for the emergency toxic uh, benzoyl peroxide lotion, but I just want you to, to know like that I do use this sometimes and um, So yeah, I will link it down below but you have to get this through a dermatologist um, I think or your doctor so and I just want to give a quick overview on some awesome face masks that luminance carries um, Not that I do masks like all the time. I want to do them more often So last night I treated myself to an amazing relaxing Epsom salt bath and then I put on this clarifying French green clay mask and it's like the brightest green color guys like I'll do a close-up Anyways, so I just used it once last night. This is a new bottle and I loved it Like it just I don't know I just put it on and I just like sat back in the tub closed my eyes Listened to a podcast and it was so relaxing. I really like this one This is the first time I used this one and then if you want something very hydrating during the colder winter months their rose water facial mask is so soothing guys like anytime my skin just feels like dry or red or irritated I put this on and it just like calms my skin right away I love it and it just smells really nice too it's like halfway done and then last but not least I always have to have a good lip balm at night before I go to bed and there's two ones that I'm using right now this hooray hurrah hurrah one um, this is the coconut lip balm their key lime one is really good too and then this one is just from my friend uh, Joy McCarthy from Joyous Health and this is her lip treatment uh, lip balm and it has peppermint in it so tingles a little bit um, but I will always have one or two of these in my purse at a, any given time and at night before bed I just slather my lips with it and it's funny because Matt and I always kiss uh, each other good night before we go to bed and I'm always like mm, I have so much lotion on my face and lips <laughs> and I'm just I don't want it to him to rub it off so I'm like Mwah. and uh, I know very romantic so um, yeah lip balms are amazing so that is everything I use for my nighttime skincare routine I hope you guys got some good skin tips out of the video and hopefully discovered some new products that you're gonna try out for yourself I will list all the products I talked about down below in the info box and then for the giveaway I'm so excited luminance is gonna be giving away three $100 gift cards yes $300 gift cards $100 gift cards and it's gonna be open worldwide so it doesn't matter where you live um, you can enter into this giveaway and it's super easy guys all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up or down which if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you don't then I'll probably have to delete you from my channel. No, I'm kidding. But if you guys um, like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help. And leave a comment down below, you know, if you could ask any skincare question, uh, maybe something you're struggling with or something you wanna know, uh, leave it down below. And Luminous is actually gonna come over in the comment section this week and answer your questions, maybe recommend a product, um, or just give you some great advice. Like, I know even when I talk to them, you know they can always like obviously recommend their own products but they're not about that they just want to make sure that everyone is well educated about skincare and like what products do for your skin um, so they're gonna be answering your questions and stuff and that is how you enter so super easy I'll have all the information for the giveaway in the info box and I'm gonna be picking a winner on March 1st so it's gonna be running for one week starting today 
So get your entries in, good luck, and I hope you guys try out uh, Luminance. Like, they are seriously the best, I love them. And if you wanna purchase any of your own products on their website, you can use my coupon code HEALTHNET15 to receive 15% off. And I really, really am obsessed with them, and they know that, and, um, and that's just why I recommend them time and time again on my channel. Thank you so much for watching guys. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on any future videos. I post twice weekly on my channel, Sundays and Wednesdays, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you got some good skincare tips. I will see you guys below in the comment section and have a fabulous day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!